Red Dusk asks the very important question, what if Germany lost World War II? But also the Soviet Union did not fall apart and the Cold War continued into the next millennium. NATO is still a thing, but uh, we just have a very strong Soviet Union. Vietnam, communist. We have Korea. Iraq does have WMDs. One thing they also did, uh, they took a look at Black Ice and thought, oh, why don't we add infantry anti-tank equipment and infantry anti-air equipment and infantry fighting vehicles? Oh, that's so fun. Let's just complicate things. The Soviet Union is not in a very good spot. We have the consequences of the perestroika. Uh, we have have an August coup, we have a stagnating economy, which will also get a little bit more stagnating, a little bit of party infighting, separatism, and we also have the Cold War. As for, oh no, they also haven't added MIOs to any of these. <laughs> I should have just played Iraq like John Parker. Joigo! Okay, bro, this is the start of the game and we already have 200 factories. Ah! 200 units as well. And they are all not trained. Beautiful, I can just shoot you all and I won't have to feel bad. I would have gone with Shogu, but no, you have entrenchment. It's not that funny. Okay, the 70,000 oil that we need every single day now makes sense. If we have 100 motorized divisions, what the fuck is the heavy artillery used for? Okay, they're gonna shoot once and then disperse. Sokolov, that, that guy is from Metal Gear. It's crazy that this mod didn't get sued for that. And also the PlayStation 2. Very important. A bitter truth. As he stepped to the podium in front of hundreds of party members and cameras, he began his speech. First part of it was praising the recent successes of the union in both economic and political fe Brother, are we talking about the same union? The Communist Party of the Soviet Union becomes leader for the Communist Party. And now we shall do the party congress. Oh, never mind, we have Pablo. Poland is not in the... is not in NATO. Why are you arming Poland? What do you have in plan? What? In order to support the country and the stability of Eastern Europe against the possible and growing threat of the USSR. That's preposterous. I would never invade. Ah, oh, there we go. We have Putin. The funny man. Considering Putin just called an old friend and 9-11 happened, that's a very interesting coincidence. Production efficiency cap? What? Hang on. That does not matter for ships. Ships don't have production efficiency gain. What? <laughs> the resources <laughs> you can tell it's a mod no no that is not a young orban you can't tell me that's actually a picture of him i refuse to believe that holy shit i'm gonna accept it as law now you know who else looks like a hot and young orban me if you subscribe to the channel because then i can find your thoughts on beard transplants eurasianist theorist minus 40 percent consumer goods factories Bro, I want that in base game. Seems mildly useful. Hey, Schröder, yay, the best chancellor that Germany ever had. Certainly did not get any money from Russia. Not a train. Has more production costs. Costs more resources and has more production costs. I love mods. There's also a fun little event in this mod where you have to suppress rebellions and if you don't do it, should be over within three days. Bro, how many VPs does Ukraine have? Come on, that's not historical. What is this? This is not that hard. Okay, what the fuck? Seriously, <laughs> this is worse than Canada. No city, no VP, only random states. The United Military Command is the leader of the Ukraine. The one we all know and love. Japan is not in NATO. Not in this mod at least. Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil. The government has entered into several lucrative arms deals with the US. So potentially they are gonna join is it Elgo? It is this timeline. Elgo is the president. You laugh, but Merlin used to be able to open doors and also pee in the human toilet. Thankfully, he does not open doors anymore because otherwise he would just open the door to my apartment. The door that leads outside does have a lock, but it's just annoying to lock it every time. So if you want to break in, I guess you only have to dedox me. Dox... Do I just combined DDoS and doxing. <laughs> Satan the first. 45% nuclear reaction cons reactor construction speed. Are we gonna lim win the Olympics? No, nope, we are just gonna transform society. An army for all of Eurasia and we're gonna shoot three guys. Perfect. Global economic... Oh, New focuses have been unlocked. Yay! 20% stab, 20% war support, 40% consumer goods, 15% stab, 15% construction speed, 20% cons production efficiency cap, 15% production efficiency growth, 30% production efficiency base, 12% resource efficiency, 10% factory output, 10% dockyard output, 1 PP! Oh no! The PP cost is too much! And weekly stability, okay. We are gonna have to deal with that first. 
before we can continue with anything. Jump scare! You really couldn't have downsized that picture a little bit. Ah, fuck. Because of the little kerfuffle with Azerbaijanistan, I completely forgot about this. Six of those infantry divisions. And we're gonna send them to Ping Pong. Ooh, this might be a little bit too late here. But we'll see if we can still save this a little bit. Let's see. Oh, that's the Great Asian War. I guess it's... Fine. I guess I'm gonna send the tanks to Macau. Do I really want tanks on this front? If we were down here, tanks would be nice, but up here, tanks just don't don't sound fun. Ah, whatever. I'm gonna send three tanks in there. Ah, damn it! I just set up all the fronts. Yeah. Normally you have an actual proxy war down here with NATO sending billions of divisions and you sending divisions to every single Chinese puppet. But I fumbled and sent divisions in too late, so I guess we'll have to skip the proxy part of this war. Ah! Why am I sending all of my volunteers and they win the civil wars before they arrive? I guess we can build dockyards because the army is so huge I really don't know what I'm supposed to build with the army anymore. I mean sure we can get more but I can't even produce units right now and the stockpiles are just way too full and <laughs> we already have an army. Great Middle East war. But what about the oil? No! An oil shortage. Bro why do I care about this? Why is my own oil affected by this? All eyes on V-Man. He actually gets a crown! <laughs> And now we're also the mighty Eurasian Empire, allowing us to call Eastern Europe and conquer China. Now we can expand into three different regions. I guess I'm first gonna go into Europe, simply because I want this thing gone. Subunit category, add subunit category, multistat. Time for a little bit of fun, for me, not for the rest of Europe. Soviet invasion of Eastern Europe. Old Spectre haunts Europe once more. The motherland demands victory, not an endless war. Do I get Mussolini decisions now? One year. Okay. Um, um, we have attack. I think I'm just gonna... There we go. Auto is probably fine. We are just have way too much industry. Ah! NATO does intervene in the Eastern European War. Yes. Thank you, Turkey. I hope your allies don't mind that. So we're gonna start the Winter War and then we're just gonna not bother about the Winter War. Oh, the oil. The oil is actually... I guess that's our difficulty. We are gonna run out of oil with the current blockade and all that. And the fact that our entire army is motorized divisions. Base gain minus 3000. I'm actually gonna stop all of the offensives then. And I'm just gonna snipe some VPs. That's Poland out. Can also get a couple of Germans. It's always a fun adventure. Okay, who do we have to actually take out? Slovakia, Hungary and Poland. Okay, the supply is a little bit of a situation here. Let's see, maybe we can get the encirclement here. And then let's pin with this infantry and this tank. Nice. And we still have 300 days left over. That was mostly chill, but the oil is still an issue. I also don't want mill factories anymore. I have 560 factories. I guess I can get oil refineries. Okay, then uh, let us prepare the border with Finland. I'm not sure if we also have a time limit for Finland and Sweden. In case we do, it would actually make sense to prepare naval invasion. Some 10. 16. 100 aluminum brother mods are stupid we can still get 45 percent more and this is even easier than base game the finnish winter war should be round two in this timeline <laughs> We are just overrunning divisions. I think the mod creator likes the Soviet Union. Now the China war can actually be interesting depending on how much they actually resist. Where did Sweden go? Bro, if I could invade Sweden and they capped here in a normal game. Oh, the Chinese have pushed us a little bit in one tile. Two tiles? Oh my god, they're pushing us out of Mongolia. I guess I'll actually have to do a little bit with this war here. But if we're quick enough, we can actually get a bunch of those supply hubs and we can also potentially encircle here. Okay, managing this will be a bit ass now just because we're gonna have to build 50 different railroads to connect all of those beautiful small little supply hubs that should definitely help with holding all of this and then we can also enable truck truck oh we actually are on a timer with the china war i mean we still have 700 days which with japan that is more than enough and japan is in a worse spot than we are you know what i'm just gonna auto this a little bit see how far we can go we're probably gonna have a couple of red bubbles but we're just gonna take a bunch of land it's gonna be a much easier on my sanity yay oil shortage is gone in that case we don't have to worry about fuel anymore which also means we can now get our cars over here and I guess the other fighters as well. <laughs> 400 trucks are getting bombed. Have been getting bombed in the past 30 days. Yeah, we just don't have that many fighters and I really don't want to micro all of this. I mean, I should, but I don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna micro a little bit again. Just gonna see if we can, you know, encircle the north here, Manchuria. 
Oh, what's left of Manchuria? Let's get two of those mechanized down here. Oh, that's enough. Barely. I'm gonna start pushing in here a little bit, just so we can kind of solidify this by proxy. Main battle tanks! Oh, suppression division. <laughs> that is one way we can suppress uprisings. Wouldn't be my preferred way. Now we just need to collapse this front before they capitulate us. I mean, they are very close. And because we just encircled so many divisions over here, we can also just march really deeply into China. China. Let's get the entire East Coast. I'd probably get encircled because of that. <laughs> hey, Libya did something. Finally. I was waiting for this the entire time. Ooh, training is... This push was not good for training. I guess I'm, I can try and train on the front a little bit. See if China does something. Okay, they are actually pushing. Oh, well, they are attacking. I wouldn't mind getting at least trained XP, is it? Yeah, trained. Go, another arrow. Peace conference effects. Ah, I didn't want to... I didn't want to annex you. I wanted puppet. And I could not... I couldn't even release China as a puppet. Oh. I almost stepped into a very nice pile of cat puke. Just going to the bathroom and... Oops. Roll the net 20 on my dex check. We are on export. We have 12,000 steel. I know. We are Russia. We have sweden finland we have all of eastern europe and china but still i believe bro is from french yeah that's why it thinks it's a better word than all the other words no japan has embargoed us oh no what will i do without your resources actually malaysia is not allowed to embargo us let's just call them now and then after that we can do the old enemies the very interesting focus in preparation for that i'm also gonna get our 200 submarines ready the tanks are actually kind of worse than heavy infantry. No, they're not just kind of worse. They are worse than heavy infantry. The giant awakens, although I guess it's a little bit late for that. I am not looking. If I could at least release China. Bro, that looked like this was underwater for a second. <laughs> Japan is right now not part of NATO. Oh, they're not gonna be. They have the East Asia Treaty Organization. Yato! Southeast Asia Treaty. Do I really wanna put 600 factories on APCs? No. no, no, no. That, that's too much. 600 is too much. What did you miss? Nothing. Um, a couple of countries joined us very willingly, some very willingly. Don't mind the fact that those units are randomly spread out for China. Can I just ask the allies not to use ships? That seems so much more chill. If they want to invade me, they have to do a focus and then we have to talk about this and then I'm, I'll have to consent. If that's how naval invasions worked, I would be perfectly fine with it. Shouldn't he be gone by now? Yeah, Schröder should be gone by now. But sure, I, I okay. It matters not. Soon you won't have any Germany left, so I don't care. Things are going okay. Uh, we just started the crusade. I drew the front with the wrong guy. I wanted a field marshal front line, not a general front line. Things are not going well. 12 million manpower. We are only on extensive. And China is... Crash? Oh, China is crash. Did we lose progress? A little bit, yes. Mainly with uh, this additional army here. Which also means I don't know what else we lost. And then we can just do uh, this. And do uh, this. We are just... We're not winning the battle, but just look at the divisions we're actually killing. Those divisions, though. Make sure that they're not getting encircled. Those trucks are moving in. I don't think I can... Oh, I can pin those. Ah! How did we only kill 1.5 million? Schroeder, you disappoint me again. I could do some encirclements, but honestly, it's just also this. It's gonna be a bit more costly, but should easily be doable. And all of this is holding perfectly. Because we might have some stupid supply lines, I will just disable all of the convoys here. We just started another world war, but we are opening the market. Ah, I love capitalism. Okay, I don't like this. Also have supply problems. All of this should be linked, so it's probably just bombing again. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Which railroad has been bombed? Can we push over here immediately while they're still all... No! Straight bug! Ah! This is so sad. It's the worst day of my life. Hang on. Did we just get... Yeah, boy! That's another big chunk of allies gone. Oh, NATO ease. And the strength down here. Come on. Just right-click them. That should be... Actually, there's two ports that they have. Okay. But right now we're just gonna see if we can hold this. 
A big chunk of Americans gone. Just gonna see if we can, you know, do something like this with Greece and circle the entire army. Ah, uh, it's so easy. It's almost as if we were absolutely busted. Is somebody upset that they lost their dolls so and now they got a new kid? So I don't get it. Well, joke's on you. Your men are already dead. All right, can we push over the... Yes, we can push over the river without any issues. Let us see, can we push here? Okay. <laughs> Why am I worried about the Germany front? Okay, Um. with those I'm just gonna rush into Austria now. Although, I'm just gonna rush with those into Austria. Because we can probably take a ton of Germany now. Just from surprise attacks. Okay, it's, it's Austrian puppet. Still don't like the borders here, but knowing anything about Italy, I think I can also just do this. <laughs> There's just one constant in the universe. Italy is just shit. Oh, no, I also got to manage all of the Italian dockyards. Yay. That's Italy dealt with. Please just move. Before, ah, uh, yep, before the French arrive. And uh, before I leave here, we do still have a little thing to worry about here. Stupid Greek islands. The British Virgin Islands are free. Ugh. Yuck. Virgins. Couldn't be me. Spain and Portugal should fall without any issues now. They might transfer a couple of divisions from Germany, although... <laughs> what have the Allies done? Don't they know that it can increase their conscription law? That's 15 mil... I've dealt 160 million and the Allies still had manpower. And you're telling me 15 million and they gave up against Putin. It's crazy that this is the front and France has fallen, Belgium has fallen, Luxembourg has fallen, the Dutch are falling and they're sending like two divisions to defend all of this. And now we're just gonna take Germany. Come on! At this point you have to move a couple of divisions at least. I guess we're gonna truck into Berlin. Hearts of Iron. Okay, this is a little bit bleh. So I'm just gonna... Draw one arrow and I'm gonna hope it's on the correct line. I guess it's that one? It has to be. The Belgrade Offensive. Sure. Fine by me, I guess. Can I just clean up now? Clean up the pockets and then we can make the front line for Portugal closer. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm, I'm breaking down. <laughs> Bigger. Hey, Ali. Turkey. Uh... Thank you. Although it would have been funnier for the video if I just pieced out at some point. I guess we can take a look at Turkey again. I'm actually gonna make this easier on me. If NATO wants to invade Russia, I will let them in. They don't even have a pushing order. <laughs> they just want to walk there. Oh, like locusts just eating everything up. Okay, as for our beautiful boats, let's get them over to Groningen. Easy naval invasion support and attack. The naval protection works great. Why is there a guy with a melon? Oh, <laughs> I hate the AI. Just one division. One single fucking division. I don't want much, but I guess even one division guarding the ports is too much to ask for. That's how I like my UK. Capitulated within one second. Everything else is a hassle and a waste of my time. Woo! Ooh, that's a very cool Iceland invasion. Oh, okay, I guess we have global range. I guess range upgrades are useless then. Not global range, but pretty much. The Allies have lost 30 million, yes, but in base hoy 4 I've dealt 160 million and they still had divisions left. So it's probably, the AI probably just can't cope with red dusk, do flood. Which mode are we playing? The red one. Syria defeated Lebanon. Everything reminds me of Hoi 4 A to C World Conquest Orsa. Yep, we're gonna wait until Göttingen is out for Austria and then... Okay, I was about to say Australia and then Belgium, but that doesn't work either. Australia and then Bhutan, I guess. And then after that, Austria. So we're gonna do a little bit of a scuffed alphabet. Oh my god, they fixed Detroit! We don't have the stupid border here anymore, so the armies will not just leave Detroit for no reason. I mean, it is Detroit. That's good enough reason, but still, we are in a war. Okay, America, I believe it is time to do a man in the high castle, though, and just leave. Takes... <laughs> <laughs> just didn't expect the red arrow. I hate modern humor. Bro, what, what kind of POV is that? Now that you thoroughly enjoyed this video, why don't you watch this video where I improved the headless spider no RNG Austria hungry strat by making it worse? Because we flipped to every single ideology.